Let me tell you a little story about a man named Millard Fillmore. Born in New York State on January 7, 1800, he would become the first president born in the 19th century. Growing up, he apprenticed as a cloth maker and eventually found an appreciation for law. At 26, he married Abigail Powers and together raised two children. Millard's reputation as a smart and accomplished lawyer led him to own one of the most successful law firms in New York. During his years, he also served as an assemblyman and congressman. In 1848, Millard Fillmore was nominated as vice president running alongside Zachary Taylor, who eventually won. On July 9, 1850, Fillmore became the 13th President of the United States, succeeding President Taylor, who died in office from a stomach condition. He became the last member of the Whig Party to serve as President. During his time in office, he famously passed the Compromise of 1850 and started the White House Library. Years earlier, he co-founded the University of Buffalo, where he served as Chancellor, while at the same time serving as Vice President and President. On March 8, 1874, Millard Fillmore died at the age of 74 after suffering a stroke. And there you go, a little story about a man named Millard.